Well, the state of Illinois has made national headlines lately and not really in a good way. We've been talking about the uh, increase in the income tax and Roberta Parks, who's president of the Peoria Area Chamber of Commerce, is here to kind of give us a little insight into what this means and what's next because this has a major impact on individuals as well as businesses. Right. First, let's lay out exactly what the General Assembly has done. They've increased the income tax level for residents from three to five percent, a 66 percent increase, and for businesses from 4.8 to 7 percent. Um, and then uh, from the business community's perspective, that there is also the 2.5 uh, percent corporate uh, rep, uh, replacement tax. So that really puts the both the individual and the corporate, particularly the corporate tax rate, at a very high level. I believe we're the highest in the nation. And this is quite a detriment to us when it comes to attracting and retaining talent because people don't want to have that extra burden of the higher income tax and also in attracting and retaining businesses and economic development in general. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I think Illinois is sort of thought as being a difficult state to do business in already. The increase in the income tax is only going to make that worse. And, and add to that, this income tax doesn't increase, does not solve the structural budget deficit problem that the state of Illinois has. Which is the main reason why our lawmakers are saying we need this is because we need to fix the issues. This is going to help dig us out of a hole, but the bottom line is it's just a band-aid on the problem. That's correct. It will help pay some very long overdue bills to a lot of businesses, social service agencies, a lot of people who are doing business with the state of Illinois, and that's an important thing to do. The state is way behind on paying their bills, and many companies wait far, far too long. But the structural deficit continues to exist. Uh, our, the chamber's position has been all along that they need to look at budget reductions. They need to look at elimination of some programs. They need to look uh, harder again at pensions, at Medicaid, um, at, at the prison system. All of those things that, that are um, in our budget currently where we are spending more money than we're bringing in. And until that's solved, we're still in a bad shape. So this should be the beginning, not the end. Absolutely. This is not the fix. This is just the start of it. Tell one last question. Tell folks, what can I do? I, as a resident of Illinois, as a you know, Peoria area resident or as a business community leader, what do I need to do? Well, uh, as individuals and businesses, we need to make contact with our uh, members of the General Assembly, the, the state reps and the state senators, and talk about the jobs not done, that they've got to go back and do these cuts, they've got to go back and address uh, some of these other issues, and they've got to solve the deficit, the structural deficit problem. I really believe if our legislature had been able, and governor had been able to put together a comprehensive package that that included all those things. They, first of all, I think the amount of the tax increase would have been less. And secondly, I think they could have gotten some support mm -hmm. uh, from places they clearly were getting opposition right now, uh, and it made a big difference. Bottom line is speak up, Absolutely. tell your story, let the lawmakers know how it's going to affect you. And the chamber can help you do that, particularly obviously for the businesses. Uh, mm -hmm. Easy things are just make sure you have the right contact information, but also help you craft your message. So all they have to do is contact us. All right, Rob, thanks very much. Thank you.